Canada. Each week, more than 7 million people watch professional wrestling on television. That's right, more than 7 million. 125 people are watching <laughs> The Brawl. <laughs> the Brawl, it's a show on local cable access put together by a group of local guys. I like the two-person, ten-year-old <laughs> cheering section there. As Adam Schrager and photojournalist Jim Wilson tell us now, they're hoping their local show takes them all the way to the big time. Frank Cosentino has a dual personality. Mild-mannered computer technician by day. <laughs> Live from the Wheeling Civic Center in Wheeling, West Virginia. <laughs> Welcome to Great Lakes Wrestling Championship, The Brawl! Professional wrestling announcer by night. Whoa, clothesline! The Brawl's really as close to Wheeling, West Virginia as the cable access studios in Greenfield. And an abdominal stretch is a submission hold. Even with no ring, it's a Jerry Springer show with athletes trying to take Milwaukee by storm. You got carnage all over the ring! I am Scott the Patriot Williams. Scott Wisniewski in real life is the American heavyweight champion on the brawl. Oh, Canada! <laughs> Your leaves are evergreen, or however the song goes. He says he's a natural performer. And this is the greatest source of entertainment slash soap opera slash athletics that you can ever see on TV. <laughs> Fantastic maneuver. Like all good soap operas, there are no real endings on the brawl. Storylines end with commas and question marks instead of periods and exclamation points. Frank Cosentino excluded, of course. Do not, do not try this at home. Oh! The home of John Marzalkowski <laughs> may be the best place to witness the brawl's growing popularity. Those guys are awesome, and they get they fly in there, and they're like, oh! You know. Every Wednesday night, break out the root beer, the chips, and the Greenfield teen and his friends couch dance to what local cable access folks say is their most popular show. Oh, there it is, a DDT! Some might say I don't have a life. Come on, King the Tiger! That's because John's a regular at the show's taping as well. Oh, my! If you don't believe him, he's not alone in the crowd. This is adrenaline thing, you know, because the kids get here, we get here, we all get crazy. It's a fun time. It's a family thing. Why do I do this? You knew the question was coming, and all of the lifelong wrestling fans turned wrestlers have an answer. I don't think everybody needs an outlet. Getting hit with a steel chair just to release stress? Can't be that simple, Diablo. Well, I like to body slam people. I like to have people uh, sit there afterwards and say, oh, wow, how, you know, how did you do that? That's the other question you knew was coming. Well, the wrestlers say you wouldn't interrupt Shakespeare to ask him if Hamlet were real. Yes, it's choreographed. Yes, it's theatrical. But it ain't fake. Nothing fake about a bunch of local guys trying to make it big. I really think that Great Lakes Wrestling, the bra, can take over the city. Until they do, the road to the big time will continue to go through the Greenfield Cable Access Studios. And they'll continue to sweat the little stuff. We'll see you next week. In Greenfield, Adam Schrager, Fox 6 News. The Brawl recently had its 100th show. It's on Wednesday nights on public cable access along the North and South Shores. And it airs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here in Milwaukee. You can catch it on channel 47. Hey guys, how about a body slam or two? <laughs> <laughs> and you thought the three stooges were Give bad. me a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was all staged. No, <laughs> have no fear. <laughs> Man. It was Mike's idea in case I had You know what though, those chairs, those chairs would really hurt.